Picture this. You wake up to the aroma of freshly brewed coffee, your appetite awakened by the sizzling sound of bacon and eggs. You've been told time and again that breakfast is the most important meal of the day, setting the stage for a productive morning. But have you ever stopped to wonder, is breakfast truly an essential part of our daily routine? Or is it just a brilliantly crafted marketing lie? Breakfast, the most important meal of the day, right? We've heard this phrase countless times from parents, teachers, and even cereal commercials. But have you ever wondered where this claim comes from? Is breakfast truly a nutritional necessity, or is it all just a marketing ploy to sell us more products? But before we discuss it further, let's go back in time and talk about the eating habits of our primary human ancestors. The eating habits of our primary human ancestors, such as early Homo species and Homo erectus, were fundamentally shaped by their environment and access to food resources. As hunter-gatherers, their diet primarily consisted of what nature provided, and their lifestyles were marked by nomadic movements in search of food. During the Paleolithic era, which lasted from about 2.6 million years ago to around 10,000 years ago, our ancestors relied on a varied diet of wild plants, fruits, nuts, and seeds, which they foraged from their surroundings. They also hunted game animals, including small mammals, birds, and, in some cases, larger animals like mammoths and bison. Hunting was typically done using basic tools like spears, stone blades, and fire, which allowed them to cook food and expand their dietary options. The availability of food varied depending on the geographical location and seasonal changes. In warmer regions, plant-based foods would have been more abundant, while colder regions may have provided a greater reliance on animal protein and fat. This adaptive approach to eating allowed early humans to survive and thrive in a range of environments. Their diet was notably different from modern diets, as they didn't consume processed foods, refined sugars, or agricultural products like grains and dairy. Instead, their diet was primarily composed of whole, natural foods, rich in nutrients and essential fats. This ancestral approach to eating offers valuable insights into the human body's evolutionary history and provides a compelling perspective for understanding modern dietary choices and health implications. Now, we move on to the time when the idea of breakfast as a meal started to take off. To understand the marketing prowess behind breakfast, we must go back in time to the late 19th and early 20th centuries. Meet John Harvey Kellogg, a prominent figure in the world of breakfast marketing. With the rise of industrialization and the advent of processed foods, Kellogg, along with other cereal manufacturers, sought to create a market for their products. They painted a compelling picture of a hearty breakfast as the key to a healthy and productive day. They cleverly tapped into our primal instincts, manipulating our desire for nourishment and well-being. These marketing pioneers realized that by appealing to our emotions and ingraining the idea of breakfast being essential, they could create a lifelong habit for consumers. With the advent of factory jobs and longer workdays, breakfast became more than just a nutritional choice. It transformed into a symbol of productivity and conformity. Families, striving to adapt to the demands of this new era, embraced the concept of a hearty breakfast as a means to ensure their loved one's success in an increasingly competitive world. Thus, the marketing ploy seamlessly integrated into the fabric of society, cementing the belief that breakfast was not only essential for health, but also for societal acceptance. But as we'll discover later in this video, times have changed, and so have our nutritional needs. It's time to question if the breakfast narrative still holds true today, or if it's time to rethink our approach to this morning ritual. Before we continue our journey, let's take a moment to explore the tricks of modern marketing. At its core, modern marketing focuses on building meaningful connections with consumers. Storytelling also plays a pivotal role in modern marketing. Brands seek to create narratives that resonate emotionally with their audiences and leave lasting impressions. By aligning with customers' values and aspirations, companies can build strong brand identities and foster loyalty. Fast forward to the mid 20th century, and we see the rise of another influential figure, Edward Bernays, the father of public relations. Bernays, with his deep understanding of human psychology, further solidified the idea that breakfast was a necessity. He was a trailblazer in understanding how human psychology could be harnessed to influence behavior and shape public opinion. Through skillful manipulation of emotions, desires, and aspirations, he laid the groundwork for persuasive advertising as we know it today. Bernays recognized the power of media as a tool for disseminating messages, and he strategically leveraged endorsements from authoritative figures, such as medical professionals, to lend credibility to his campaigns. The image of bacon and eggs as an emblem of the American way of life was carefully cultivated, 
tapping into the patriotism and sense of identity deeply rooted in the hearts of Americans. With these tactics, the marketing lie of breakfast being an indispensable meal took root and thrived, leaving an indelible mark on generations of families. Bernays' powerful use of media and the endorsement of medical professionals further entrenched the belief that breakfast was vital for a healthy and productive society. As breakfast marketing thrived in the United States, it also found its way to other parts of the world, adapting to diverse cultures and traditions. As global connectivity increased, multinational food corporations took their breakfast campaigns to new territories, introducing American-style breakfast foods to foreign markets. However, each country's unique culinary heritage shaped how breakfast evolved. In some cultures, breakfast remained a simple and traditional affair, while in others, it blended with the modern Western influence, creating fusion breakfasts that combined global flavors. Despite the marketing push, breakfast preferences continued to be deeply rooted in cultural practices and regional ingredients. As a result, breakfast around the world grew to embrace both global influences and local identities, reflecting the rich tapestry of human traditions and tastes. But is there any scientific backing to this claim? As we enter the 21st century, the breakfast marketing landscape faces a reckoning. Health and nutrition experts have begun questioning the long-standing assumptions. The notion that breakfast is a must for everyone has been challenged, highlighting individual dietary needs and the benefits of intermittent fasting. Several studies have investigated the impact of breakfast on our health and performance. Surprisingly, the results are mixed. Some studies show benefits like improved concentration and better weight management, while others find no significant differences between breakfast eaters and skippers. On one hand, proponents of breakfast argue that starting the day with a balanced meal can stabilize blood sugar levels, boost metabolism, and improve cognitive function. They believe that a nourishing breakfast provides the necessary fuel to kickstart the day on the right foot, helping individuals feel more energized and focused throughout the morning. Scientific research has provided some evidence to support the claims. Several studies have shown that students who eat a healthy breakfast tend to have better attention, memory, and problem-solving abilities, leading to improved academic performance. Additionally, breakfast consumption has been associated with better overall dietary quality, People who regularly eat breakfast are more likely to meet their daily nutritional needs, including essential vitamins, minerals, and fiber. Conversely, opponents of the traditional breakfast narrative point to emerging research that challenges the idea that breakfast is a universal requirement. Some studies suggest that skipping breakfast may lead to intermittent fasting, which has been associated with potential health benefits, such as improved insulin sensitivity, weight loss, and longevity. Additionally, these studies argue that the body's natural hunger cues should guide eating patterns, and forcing oneself to eat breakfast when not hungry could lead to overeating or choosing less nutritious options. Recent studies have indeed shed light on the potential benefits of intermittent fasting, including time-restricted eating patterns that involve skipping breakfast. Intermittent fasting has been shown to enhance the body's insulin sensitivity, a critical factor in maintaining healthy blood sugar levels and reducing the risk of type 2 diabetes. This fasting approach encourages the body to tap into stored fat for energy, potentially aiding in weight loss and supporting overall metabolic health. Furthermore, intermittent fasting may trigger a process called autophagy, where the body clears out damaged cells and cellular debris, promoting cellular repair and longevity. This natural self-cleaning mechanism has garnered attention for its potential anti-aging effects and its role in reducing the risk of age-related diseases. Moreover, proponents of intermittent fasting argue that allowing the body to follow its natural hunger cues promotes a more intuitive and balanced approach to eating. When breakfast is skipped in response to lack of hunger, it can prevent mindless eating and overconsumption of calories later in the day. This intuitive eating pattern may also encourage individuals to choose more nutrient-dense foods when they genuinely feel hungry, leading to a more wholesome and nourishing diet overall. However, it's essential to note that intermittent fasting may not be suitable for everyone, especially individuals with specific health conditions or nutritional requirements. Like any dietary approach, it's crucial to consult with a healthcare professional or a registered dietitian before embarking on an intermittent fasting journey to ensure that it aligns with individual health needs and goals. The complexity of the breakfast debate is further amplified by the vast diversity among individuals, including their metabolism, daily routines, and nutritional needs. One size does not fit all when it comes to breakfast choices, and what may work wonders for one person may have no discernible impact on another. It becomes evident that the idea of a universally essential breakfast may be an oversimplification of a much more nuanced dietary landscape. With so many differing opinions and studies on the table, 
It's easy to feel overwhelmed when it comes to your breakfast choices. So, does this mean we should ditch breakfast altogether? Not necessarily. The key is to be mindful of what we eat whenever we choose to eat it. Whether it's a hearty breakfast or a delayed brunch, let's focus on the quality of our food rather than the timing. It's essential to recognize that our breakfast choices are not solely dictated by scientific evidence. Cultural, social, and personal factors also play significant roles in shaping our breakfast habits. While scientific research can offer insights and guidelines, the ultimate decision lies with each individual to listen to their bodies. Now, for those who prefer to skip breakfast or practice intermittent fasting, it's essential to approach your other meals with a similar mindset of balance and nourishment. Intermittent fasting allows your body to go through periods of rest and repair, which may have positive effects on metabolic health and cellular function. However, it becomes even more crucial to ensure that your subsequent meals contain all the necessary nutrients to meet your body's requirements. When breaking your fast later in the day, opt for a nutrient-dense meal that covers all the bases. For example, a colorful salad with leafy greens, bell peppers, tomatoes, and avocado, topped with grilled chicken or tofu, and a drizzle of olive oil, can provide a plethora of vitamins, minerals, and healthy fats. Additionally, incorporating whole grains like quinoa or brown rice can further enhance the meal's nutritional profile and satiety. For those who find enjoyment in starting their day with breakfast, the key is to create a balanced meal that nourishes the body with a diverse array of nutrients. Whole grains, such as oats or whole wheat bread, provide a steady release of energy and essential fiber, promoting feelings of fullness and supporting digestive health. Incorporating lean proteins like eggs, Greek yogurt, or plant-based options such as tofu or chickpeas helps stabilize blood sugar levels and aids in muscle repair and growth. Including healthy fats such as avocados, nuts, or seeds not only adds richness and flavor, but also contributes to heart health and the absorption of fat-soluble vitamins. And let's not forget the vibrant world of fruits and vegetables. Packed with vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants, they add a burst of color and natural sweetness to your breakfast while promoting overall health and well-being. Incorporating a variety of fruits and veggies into your morning routine can enhance your immune system, improve skin health, and support healthy digestion. Remember, our relationship with breakfast should not be dictated by external pressures or marketing gimmicks. Embrace the freedom to experiment with different breakfast habits and find what aligns best with your lifestyle and well-being. If you find that breakfast energizes you and sets a positive tone for the day, go ahead and savor that morning meal. On the other hand, if you discover that intermittent fasting or delayed breakfast suits you better, don't hesitate to embrace that approach. If you found this video enlightening, give it a thumbs up and share it with your loved ones. And if you're hungry for more thought-provoking content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join our community of curious minds. Until next time, remember, knowledge is the key to breaking free from the shackles of marketing lies. Let's cherish the joy of learning.